All right. Take two. That moment where you go through and you make a 20-minute video outlining all the differences for the roadmap update and then CIG updates the roadmap yet again. Yeah, painful. But let's jump into it. Take two. So let's go through and talk about... Now, guys, this will be a full breakdown of the roadmap. Um, if you want a no-bullshit version of it, obviously, feel free to go and check out Nubifiers. Um, but this will be a full breakdown for everybody that wants all the details. Um, let's jump into it. So, 3.5, 3.6, 3.7, 3.8 has been updated and then updated again, apparently. Um, but yeah, characters for 3.5, obviously, Mission Giver, Takia Perceive, Perceive, whatever her name is, is 25 out of 46. The DNA face customization is 63 out of 104. And female playable characters is 80 out of 102. Which is good, because all those are progressing along very nicely. Locations, Art Corp Planet is 20 out of 36, Art Corp Moon Lyria is 11 out of 14, and Art Corp Moon Walla is 4 out of 6, which is great. Um, area 18 Landing Zone is 227 out of 448. So they are progressing along quite nicely, which is also good because it's due literally less than a month away. We'll get into that. The AI, a FBS uh, Avoidance version 2 is 0 out of 3, which is a little bit concerning, but not to be expected, I suppose. Basic Gunship Behavior is 1 out of 2. AI Flight Model is polished, so that is complete. Uh, AI Behavior Combat is 0 out of 4. So, obviously, they haven't gone through and they've... They've still got a little bit to do on FPS avoidance. They've still got a little bit of work on basic behavior and obviously combat improvements. Um, but at the end of the day, at least the flight model has been done, I suppose. Uh, for the AI, at least. Uh, gameplay. Uh, system heat is 1 out of 11. AI bounty hunting missions in environmental missions sorry, is 0 out of 3. Vehicle scanning HUD improvements is uh, 5 out of 20. AI Distress Beacons is 2 out of 4. Vehicle Radar is scheduled, so it hasn't been started apparently. Quantum Travel Improvements is 1 out of 12. Vehicle Scanning Improvements is 12 out of 16. Ship uh, System Degradation Improvements is 2 out of 3. Uh, vehicle, t uh, vehicle tech updates is version 1 is 9 out of 19. Group system improvements is 1 out of 2, which is cool. VoIP and FOIP improvements are 9 out of 29. The distortion damage improvements is 5 out of 7. The gimbal weapons improvements version 1 is 2 out of 3. Extended delivery missions to ARCOP is 1 out of 4. So at the end of the day, a lot of that is progressing nicely. Some of it is still to be started, like the vehicle radar. Others, like the quantum travel improvements, is obviously still got to be done. Um, but yeah, they are... They're sort of... They've got about... They've got about a month, uh, month and a bit before it all has to be finished and tested and done. Um, Aaron did say today in the uh, RTV that he was looking at giving the flight model early. It is possible that they can go through and actually do that, give out the flight, mon uh, flight model earlier, um, and then polish off the rest of this and then give it out towards the end of the Evocati slash test. So, it's not concerning, but obviously they are running out of time. Ships and vehicles, uh, Origin 300i rework is... 40 out of 79. The Origin 3, uh, uh, 315P rework is 2 out of 10. The Origin 325A rework is 2 out of 10. The Origin 350R rework is 2 out of 10. The Banyu Defender is 13 out of 48. The Misk Reliance Tenor is 3 out of 10. The Misk Reliance Sin is 27 out of 34. 
And the Misk Reliance Malika is 3 out of 10. Now, for weapons, the Banyu Sing Tankon Cannon, which is obviously the weapon that will be on the Banyu Defender, is 2 out of 25. The Jeremy, uh, yeah, uh, the Gemini, sorry, S71, it looks like some sort of assault rifle, is 10 out of 28. The Galveston Tactical Systems GT870 Translate Revision, uh, which is a uh, ship weapon, it's updating the uh, ship weapon, is 3 out of 23. The Kaskak Arms Coda, might be mispronouncing, is 6 out of 26. Now for Cortec, um, Asynchronous Disconnection Reflector, which is 4 out of 16. The Network OCS Store Files is 0 out of 10. The new flight model is 122 out of 144, which is nice. The projectile manager is 5 out of 12. The hard surface shaver improvements is 3 out of 5. And the performance optimization is 2 out of 3. So what I think they'll do is they'll go through and they'll put through a 3.5 point light, for example. Which will have like the flight model and stuff like that. Once they've gone through and they've tested that. And they've got some of these other things checked off. They will then go through and slowly add them as well. Um, but I do think they will be giving the Evocati to early March. Um, which is what I always suspected. Because there's going to be a lot of testing involved in that. But anyway. Uh, 3.6 has been updated as well. We do now have glass visor and hat improvements. That is obviously scheduled. Um, now for locations, we now have rest stop space stations, exterior variations. The AI, we have the uh, ship AI 3D pathfinding version 2. This is adding the ability for spaceships to efficiently navigate space using physics grids. NPC improvements for the bartender, uh, NPC improvements for civilian, FPS coverage version 1, which is scheduled. Uh, for gameplay, we have weapon attachments, uh, improvements of player customization for personal weapons, which is cool. That would be like Skypes, uh, sorry, scopes, silences, stuff like that. Uh, black market economy. Okay, this is new. Uh, scheduled forces, uh, sorry, security forces and shop will be able to identify stolen and illicit goods. That is definitely cool. Ship rentals, uh, players can rent ships from shops. Thank God. Ship rentals looks like it's coming in now. This is obviously new today. This is in the new update since today. They've literally updated it twice in one day. Uh, player free look, uh, giving players greater control of their view is obviously in 3.6. Uh, 3.6 ragdoll improvements, so improving the articulate entity simulations. Player jump version 2 will improve the jumping mechanics. Uh, uh, sh uh, ship systems degradation improvements, so improved to any degradation gameplay, which is cool. System misfires uh, is 7 out of 16, so they've already started on this, but it's adding misfire events in which cause items to perform unexpectedly. Uh, player car car I said this, I missed this earlier. Player carryables version 2, uh, which is improves to how the players pick up and carry items. Transit system volume 2 or version 2 improves increasing and egress systems. Uh, I presume that would be like adding more tracks and stuff like that for the railway, as well as improving the train system. Um, maybe the motion and stuff like that, because sometimes it goes off the rails in the image. Uh, bounty missions, NPC improvements is obviously there as well in 3.6. Now in 3.6, we also get the Aegis Vanguard Warden update, which is 3 out of 14 already, so they've started on that. The Cougar Intergalactic P-52 Armakides, I'm getting that wrong, Armakides, whatever, I'm getting it wrong, is scheduled as well. Sorry guys, I can't pronounce that. 
Origin 890 jump is 28 out of 144. So they've already started on the 890 jump. The P52 Merlin improvements is scheduled. Uh, Apocalyptic's Arm Aminus Missile Launcher is scheduled, which is cool. It's to be a new weapon for us. Uh, there'll be like a handheld weapon for like a rocket launcher. The Bering S38 pistol is scheduled. The Max OX Neutron Repeaters is in development for a uh, for a creation and promotion of a new ship weapon that is already started at one out of twelve. Uh, Cortec uh, client to server actor network rework, uh, reworking the improvements to better communicate players uh, actions from client to the server is obviously there as is scheduled. Planet ground fog tech, uh, varying layers of fog on planetary terrain that would look cool. Um, player procedural astral asteroids version two, asteroid fields. Field generation and visual improvements. Uh, distribution and ecosystem uh, improvements is also there as well. Harvestable entity spawning. So an automatic system enabling the spawning of harvestable edible, uh, entities. I think that's in both space and on the ground. Um, I'm not sure if that's just like asteroids and stuff like that. Or if that's actually like fruit and veg and stuff that will also be growing, like plants and stuff, maybe. And of course, performance optimization as well. Uh, for 3.7, we have the Bounty Hunter Armor. Implementing the Bounty Hunter Armor set for 3.7, which looks cool. The locations, we get the uh, Cargo Deport Space Stations, which... Is quite impressive. The rest stop space stations unoccupied, which is cool. The rest stop space stations interior variants, which I'm guessing is a whole bunch of variations for the rest stop space stations, um, which I'm a little bit confused about because we all thought we already had that. So implementing the expansion of interior models and archetypes. So maybe there's going to be different types, different archetypes, or something like that. Um, but they did say that it's implementing an expansion. They didn't say a rework, so I'm not quite sure. NPC Improvements Shopkeeper. So improving of the Shopkeeper NPC to allow for additional behavior is there in 3.7. FPS Combat Weapon Types. The ability for the combat AI to engage the player while using a wider range of arsenal weaponry is in 3.7, which is cool. Events gunship defensive uh, gunship defensive maneuvers, which is the implementation and balancing of defensive maneuvers maneuvers for reacting to incoming heavy fire, which is cool because it should stop them looking kind of derpy and just sitting there. Uh, refueling or fuel scooping, so the expand the behavior for hydrogen fuel scooping, which is quite of cool. Player loco uh, locomotion stair improvements. So improve character locomotion up and down stairs. NPC healing. So healing other players and NPCs. Uh, FPS close combat implementation of close combat mechanics. Death animation improvements. As a combining uh, animation with physical ragdoll simulation. Which is something we actually saw earlier. I think it was over here. Uh, somewhere we saw Ragdoll. Was it this one? Uh, anyway, um, that's good because that will obviously get rid of all the T-posing when you die and stuff like that, which is not a major thing, but it's just annoying considering how far along the game is. So, I'm, yeah, kind of glad that's done. Player swimming uh, is scheduled traverse with a liquid environment, which is kind of cool. Player's status system. Uh, expanding of the core mechanics that will track players' status and well-being, which is kind of impressive and cool. Uh, so that's getting an upgrade. Uh, power system version 2, expanding the power system to support systematic gameplay. Um, so I'm thinking that that might be something like, for example, if your systems get damaged, they might draw more power. Um, or if your systems go offline because they've been damaged, you have more power or something like that. 
Um, not quite exactly what they mean, but that would be something I would guess. Uh, PvP bounties. Players can hurt other players. Uh, sorry, can hunt other players with bounties. Uh, cockpit experience improvements. So improvements to the cockpit experience, including new visual and audio effects. Ship to... Sh oh, oh, wow. Ship to... Sh sorry. Ship to station docking. Okay, cool. Uh, implementing the ability to dock ships to space stations. It's making more sense why we're getting these improvements into the rest stop now. Um, that is kind of impressive. I'm kind of looking forward to that. Uh, repair, refuel, restock kiosk version 1. Um, so the service kiosk will provide players with more flexible interface for ship services. That would be kind of cool. So instead of going to your mobile glass, it looks like you'll go to a kiosk and you'll be able to repair, refuel, stuff like that. Physic, uh, physical invent, uh, inventories. Implementing a localized physical inventory system, meaning you won't be able to carry 400 different suits with you. Um, looks like they're going to try and make it so that you only carry what you can um, and the rest of your stuff will be in your physical inventories. Um, which is good. Um, it's gonna it's gonna bug people um, because they're not gonna be able to carry 400 guns anymore. Um, but it's gonna force people to start carrying what they need. Uh, so uh, under ships, uh, we have ships and vehicles. We have the Aegis Vanguard Hellbringer or Harbor Harbringer, uh, which is implementing the Vanguard Harbringer. We have the Vanguard uh, the Aegis Vanguard Sentinel. We'll have the Drake Cutlass Red Rework, which is kind of cool. For weapons and items, for four, hand, uh, for four entries, we'll have the P, uh, GP-33 Grenade Launcher. We'll have the Heady by Sovo Frag Pistol. We're going to look get the FL-33 Laser Cannon. We're going to get the Class N Lumina, Lumini V, which looks like it's some sort of electric assault rifle. For Core Tech, we are going to get Large Scale Shadows and Improvements, which is kind of cool. Uh, server to Client Actor Network Rework. Didn't we have something like that before? Yeah, we did. Client to Server Actor Network Rework. So, uh, Network Improvements to better communicate players from the server. Oh, to the, oh, from the server to the client. So that's the opposite. So this is client to server, that is server to client, which is cool. And performance optimization, which is obviously needed. They're gonna do that every three months though. Improved terrain shadows, uh, sh uh, shield technology replacement. So maybe they will we'll, uh, be raising time to kill. Uh, replacement of the legacy shield system to use signal distance field tech. Um, atmosphere tech improvements, which is also cool as well. So, for characters, for 3.8, uh, which is obviously December, or up until December of 2019, we are getting the Microtech Collection for Co's. So, this is the implement clothing commonly worn by the citizens of Microtech. We're also going to get a mission giver, Eddie Parr, who's creating a new mission giver, um, and it just says that it's for Microtech. Um, so, yeah, we don't know a lot about that. There's not even a photo. There won't be a surprise, presumably. Locations, refinery space stations. Implementing refinery space stations into the game, which is cool. Uh, cargo station, space stations unoccupied which is implementing unoccupied versions of cargo space stations into the game, which is weird because they're actually putting in the other version first here. We go up here. So we've got the cargo deport there, and now this is the unoccupied version, which is kind of back to front, but regardless. Uh, I'll take it. Refinery space stations unoccupied, which is the implementing unoccupied refinery space stations into the game, which is apparently, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, the Microtech Planet, building and populating Microtech, which is something they've just recently added today after they've already updated today because I wondered where that was. 
The new Bubba, Bubbage Landing Zone version 1. So this is obviously enclosed to protect the inhabitants against the elements. The new Bubbage is the major social and economic trading hub. Despite highlighting Microtech's flagship store and landing zone is a haven for other small tech companies, the initiative implementation may contain limited traversability districts. So it's a new landing zone for Microtech and it looks kind of cool. The Microtech Moon uh, Kalupi, uh, the Microtech Moon Selino, and the Microtech Moon Entro Entropa. Europa, I hope he's pronouncing that. For AI, for 3.8, we get the FPS Combat Behavior version 2. We get the Flight AI Ace Pilot, so creating ace level flight behavior for the AI, which is going to make him so much more interesting to kill. Uh, we get Domanic Mission Systems, which is huge. Uh, guys, this is basically the system that will go through. And say, for example, um, it might turn around and say, "We need my, we need more minerals. We need more ore at Microtech." Um, so they will then go through and put out a a mission, which will be bring us 200 kilos, for example, of ore from Heston to Microtech, for example. So this is the computer system or the server going through, realizing that it needs something in the game or that there is a mission that is a possibility and going through and actually launching that themselves. What we have at the moment is a lot of missions that are on timers. This will actually replace those with actual missions that are needed um, and will actually be missions that are dynamic, as the name suggests. So, for example, if someone is going through and pad ramming on Port Alazar, you might see, for example, a bounty hunting issue coming up for that player. So it's the AI or the computer going through, realizing what missions are needed and putting them up, um, which is really cool. Um, it's going to stop a lot of these on timers um, and it's basically going to make it a lot more interesting. Um, and uh, look, obviously it's only going to be version one or version zero. Um, so it's not going to be perfect. But it's a really good place to start. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. That, I think, is huge. Um, Mag Boots, which is player locomotion across the surface while in zero G. Because they were talking about removing some of the gravity from these smaller ships. Um, so you would have to use Mag Boots. So that would be for that. Zero G push and pull. Zero G traverse without EVA using the player's hands, which is obviously cool. Seated item handling, so weapon handling while you're seated in a vehicle. Security system, adding security systems that control access to private areas and objects. Now this shows like a security station, but I'm also wondering if that's like things like, for example, inside your ship. If that's like securing areas in your ship um, and stuff like that. So yeah kind of looking forward to that um, because that would be to be like private areas and objects that to me sounds like it might be a ship and stuff like that might be like private security or like security settings for that so yeah ship to ship docking oh that's wow that's huge um, implementing the ability to dock ships together which would be cool uh, vehicle HUD version 4 which is additional work on vehicle HUD to and it support the story, the storing and management of scan results, salvage version one, which is very cool. The ability to collect materials from ship hulls. What's interesting is ship to ship docking, and over here, don't we have ship to station? Uh, ship to station. Yeah, ship to, there we go. Ship to station docking. So we're going to get both those by the end of the year, theoretically. Cool. Um, ship to vehicles, uh, ships and vehicles, sorry. We're getting the Prowler, which is looking pretty cool. Um, I don't know much about that. I'll have to have a look into that. We're getting the Drake Cutlass Blue rework, which is what people um, have been asking for. We're getting the Anvil Carrick, reportedly, which has already started 8 out of 57. So that is impressive. 
Oh, wow, okay. Misc Hull C, which is 25 out of 45. So that is kind of making sense because the ship to ship, da, uh, ship to station and ship to ship docking should be in. So as long as those are in, you should be able to get your whole C because that's the major thing that's stopping that from happening. So for 3.8 for weapons and items, we have the Klex and Westerner Siege Mass Driver Revision. Uh, we have the Lightning Bolt uh, elect Electron Shotgun. Uh, we're going to get the Fanatic, Fanatic Pistol. Um, and for Cortec, I'm presuming it's going to be uh, Performance. Yep. So Cortec, it is Performance Optimization. So guys, yeah, um, this is actually a really, really good roadmap. Um, and it's better than the version that was out earlier today. Um, which I've already did and had to scrap. Thank you very much, CGI. Um, but yeah, there's a lot in this that is obviously looking really good. I'm really looking forward to Salvage um, for 3.8. I'm looking forward to uh, the security system. I'm looking forward to ship-to-ship -ship docking. Um, I'm looking forward to the whole C because I want to see what that is like. Um, there's a lot of improvements like AI and stuff like that and quality of life. Plus, it looks like we're going to get Microtech and her, uh, the planet and a whole bunch of moons. Plus, refineries and stuff like that. So, that's all pretty good for 3.8. 3.7 um, looks like we're going to get things like, for example, ship to station docking. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. The ships I want to see. Um, the... What else is there? There was something else I wanted in 3.7. Uh, oh, the Dominic Missions, too, also is something I was interested in, too. Um, the FPS Close Combat. Um, you know, the refueling is something I want to see as well. Um, so, yeah, the rest stops, everything like that. The locations... Um, the sh uh, Bally Hunter armor looks kind of cool. But yeah, no, dude, guys, there's a lot here that is really, really worthwhile. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. What What is the most thing that you are currently looking forward to in all of the 3.5 or 3.6? Or is there anything in particular you're looking forward to the most? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Apart from that, guys, obviously the video has been helpful. Please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.